all Surrey actually across parts of Surrey and Sussex and Kent and Essex and Suffolk and places like that. So, you know, we're not talking about dusting. Evening guys, I hope you're well. As you can see, it's snowing. Um, I thought you were going to post a quick video about um, well, what I'm doing to try and uh, make getting out and about in the car um, a little bit better. So I, I was going to film it outside, but I think uh, as you can see from out here now, it's uh, it's cannot get very good. So I'm going to go inside. We've had to come indoors um, just as I was about to start um, doing that little uh, introduction. Uh, the wind got up, the snow started coming in a bit down heavier, and I thought that sooner or later that is either going to come flying off its tripod or it's going to get wet and that's not waterproof so I didn't want it to uh, get damaged. So we come indoors, just grab the stuff out of the boot and I'll show you what I've got. Um, the truth is, it's not very expensive stuff, it's, this isn't a tactical video, this is something that, you know, we all have this sort of stuff in our house and if we don't, we can get it very you know, readily available and fairly cheaply as well. A lot of discount stores, places online. Um, this is not the right or the wrong way of doing things, this is just what I do. Um, so use your judgment and just remember if you're out driving and the weather turns the way it's going at the moment um, you need to have something with you to make things a little bit easier so I'm going to spin the camera around and I'll show you okay, what I've got so and I'll see you have it, it. Um, this is predominantly the kit I keep in my car the majority of it is for um, specifically for winter use though some items obviously you know need to be in the car all year round so I'll just quickly show you what I carry um, I don't want to do too much duplication I do have done a um, a sort of car EDC video um, um, a bit ago so there hasn't been massive amounts of change with that so if you want to have a look at the full video um, I'll put the link uh, below um, so I mean where to start well obviously you need to find out where you're going so uh, I just carry a sat nav I also carry a mo road map as well um, now it's important to have a road atlas because sometimes these things don't work all the time so uh, you know it's uh, it's good to, again, you're having your backup straight away. Um, I also have the charging leads and a mobile phone charger, but that is in the car, though, so that's covered all year round. Um, foot pump. Um, I know a lot of people started having um, you know, compressors and that sort of thing. Now, my thoughts are that if you've got a flat, this will pretty much work all the time. Um, it's not reliant on your car's battery, and I think this time of year, um, your battery needs to sort of be as strong as possible because you're going to have your heaters on, you're going to have your demister air conditioning heated window quickly. You know, it's, it's just sapping battery power, so it's, you know, put less stress on the battery. If you need to, use a foot pump. Um, you know, the cheap and cheerful, I think that one was about seven or eight pounds, it does what it does. Um, now, I have some footwear. Um, I've started keeping my um, Magnum boots in the car for pretty much because I can keep them in the car and then I always know if we're going out for a walk you know, where they are, that's the only time these are going to be really used so I thought well I'm going to put these in the car and uh, you know you've got a pair of sturdy footwear and the reason is is because obviously if you're working in an office or something you're not going to wear these, you're going to wear sort of shoes which are completely practical for walking in the snow um, those are in the car but I also when the weather was really bad I keep these in uh, which are basically heavy duty steel toe capped um, sort of furry fleecy lined um, rigger boots as I say these are really heavy duty um, boots but you know if you're walking through uh, water or anything like that they are waterproof so you know it's as good as you're going to get really um, and, but you know for emergencies high visibility um, now this one is uh, made by a company called uh, Dickies you'll see the label in there um, so it is workwear Heavy duty, heavy duty zips, um, waterproof, windproof, um, lined as well, so it's fairly warm. It's also got the hood on there as well, so you know if you need to get out of the car, um, get this on. Don't be wandering around the road in the dark without some high vis, because um, you'll you, you know you'll come to an injury. Um, the other thing is as well with this, it is heavy and strong enough that if you want to actually put it down on the ground, something to sit on or to cover somebody over, that's happened in the past. Um, when I was uh, on my way back home one evening, uh, it was a few years ago. Uh, now, I've got a folding shovel. Um, I mean, when you're talking sort of, if you're having to dig the car out, it's a massive problem, but I think even if you're trying to get traction, you want to get stuff away from the wheels. Now, this isn't a, a military issue. This was actually bought from uh, a, I think it was bought from Tool Station, if I remember rightly. Um, 
keep the warning triangle and um, again that stays in the car all year round but particularly important if you break down and you're in the dark or gloomy weather it's getting dark at sort of you know four o'clock in the afternoon carry sunglasses for winter use the reason is is because you know the lights is blanket in the car we actually keep one of these um, now this i'll open it out you might not be able to see it all in shot this is what we call snuggy and um, you can pick these up um, in the discount stores. I think you can actually pick these up in places like B&M. Now, I like this because obviously my little lad, you know, if he gets cold and he's stuck in the car, you can just wrap him up in it and he's as warm as toast. Um, just rolled out a shot, I have my mag light. Um, this is a large, heavy duty mag light. Um, so it's very, very bright. It's uh, the LED version. Um, I think that's about, um, I think it's 200, um, 200 lumen. It's big, it runs on uh, three D cell batteries. I do have spare batteries which I keep with it and I also have a secondary torch and this one is a, a Varta, um, Varta torch now that runs on C-cell batteries but again you know that's got the two modes um, why have two torches? well if I have to leave the car and uh, my wife is in the car or anybody else is in the car they might want a light so we have two torches work gloves um, in an emergency or just you know, to keep your hands warm um, nice heavy duty work gloves a woolly hat and thermal insulated gloves. Um, I always have, as you can see there, woolly hat. I also have my uh, uh, my gloves. But you know, it's it's you can give these away. They can be kept in the car. They can be used by passengers. So it's important. You know, it's nice to have a spare. Uh, the icer. Um, this stuff's not bad. Um, I pick it up in uh, in Aldi, and uh, it's very cheap. I think it's um, I think it's like about a pound a pound a tin, or it might even be cheaper than that. Um, <coughs> Scraper so you can uh, obviously do your windscreen and uh, WD-40 standard. But what I start doing with that is just putting a bit on the door seals or on the uh, the locks just to stop them from freezing up. Because um, the last thing you want is frozen locks. Um, I also keep some water in the car, just a little bit of uh, munchies, water. chocolate. Um, this stuff um, came from I think it actually came from Lidl. Um, you don't want to look at the calories; they are very calorific, but you know, peanut and chocolate, six bars and 89p or something like that. Not the healthiest, but I mean, it's basic calories. If you're stuck and broken down, you want something that's going to cheer you up and fill you up. So there, that'll do the job. Toilet paper, tissue, um, just a waterproof bag for obvious reasons. You don't want this stuff getting, uh, turning into paper mache. Um, flask, winter time, I carry the flask. That's the Thermo Cafe one. Um, I started putting that in the car now regularly and each morning I'll fill it up with either boiling water because I have uh, um, my coffees in the car, just these Nescafe goals that I'm just working my way through. Um, alternatively I'll just fill it up with black coffee if I'm on my own but uh, not everybody likes uh, coffee. Um, options, yeah, just some more coffee in there, it doesn't take up much space. Um, this would normally be in an overnight bag, but we have a little bit of tea tree wipes, deodorant and uh, more toilet roll. Um, you know, uh, the fire extinguisher is standard. Um, keep a couple of glow sticks in there. We've got um, a 12-hour uh, a duration red one. Um, and you've also got a, uh, an 8-hour bright white one. Um, incidentally, these are, uh, as you can see on there, these are... Uh, NATO approved NSN numbered lights. Gaffer tape, duct tape, gorilla tape, whatever you want to call it, um, always keep some. It's keep worth its weight cord in the got. car or utility cord. I mean, this stuff's actually power cord. I seem to have got quite a bit of it sorted out. So um, I keep a big dab of that stuff in there. I mean, you can use that for absolutely anything, can't you? Uh, I don't have to give exactly, you don't have examples of that really. But uh, um, we have spare batteries. Um, you see there we've got two C cell batteries and three D cells for the mag light. Again, I've marked them up, I've put them in a waterproof bag. Um, so, I mean, these have got a long sell by date on them anyway, or use by date, um, you know, 2021. Um, so, perfect for that. Um, saw, um, this is just my, this is free, this is three pounds in Lidl, um, you know, but I'll say, you know, you can see there, you know teeth are really good on it and if, if, if you need to saw a branch down you get stuck just put it on a little lanyard a bit of power cord there just to hold it so it's easier to get out as we've got permanent marker wet weather a couple of ponchos again uh, these ones are Wilco's um, 
I think they were less than a pound each. So, you know, you do the job. Five use blanket. Um, I've already got one of those that I keep in my uh, everyday carry bag, but this doesn't hurt to keep them in the car. And just for good measure, we have two. So uh, you got them for passengers as well. And uh, keep a little microfiber towel. Um, that was just a cheap one that I got in. Uh, it's made by Summit. I got it in Tesco. And then lastly, these things. Now these are um, vehicle tracks. Is you unfold them like that. They fold up, and um, if you can see there, um, you put those just in front of your car tyre, and uh, you can put them either way up. It doesn't make any difference, and um, it gives you some grip. Now these do stay in the car all year round for the simple reason that you can use them in mud as well. And the only important survival bag. Um, now the nice thing with these is. You could use them obviously as a survival bag, you could also have a shelter. Um, I haven't kept a tarp in there, so again, you know, it is keeping stuff that um, you can use and it will have multiple purpose. Um, lastly, a little bit of screen wash. Um, that's a strong mix, so I know it won't freeze. So guys, that's basically um, what's keeping the car for winter. It looks like a lot, um, but it's not expensive. It's not. Um, expensive tactical starter kit it's just to make things a little bit easier so uh, um, I hope everybody's okay and um, please drive safely in the morning if you have any comments or suggestions please please feel free to put them at the bottom and uh, if you like the video give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and I hope to see you soon God bless you bye